Hey, this is Sean Yu. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we had an RMLS report came out last week for the month of May and then a breakdown of the neighborhood, touch on the Nike layoffs briefly and then whether we're heading toward the bubble or not. So let's dive into it. Compared to 2016 May, we had the same exact closed sale number, which is sort of funny right here. Um, and now median sales price rose about 10.7% from 2016. So um, I just, I believe that Denver, Seattle, Portland are uh, do those three cities are still leading the uh, most appreciating uh, cities in the country. Um, and this is a breakdown uh, by the price point. Um, pending pending ratio is pretty good. Um, now, one thing that the media don't talk about is that there are still homes that don't sell, like just you know expired listings in the six months. You you can see those that number. Some price point is about ten percent. Some are like five percent. But there are still homes that are not selling if you don't do the right things. Now. Um, quickly look at the uh, lockbox activity we had a little bit of uh, showing you know reduction in the last about two to three weeks but that's catching back up to, to pretty healthy showing numbers this is basically the tri-county lockbox access by the agents now the last piece I want to touch today is the uh, are, are we heading toward the bubble now here's the historic chart last about 20 years about 17 years we had this uh, peak. Now we're, it looks like we're going heading toward the peak. But what they're talking about is that if we had, without the peaks and valleys here, with uh, you know historic 3.6% annual appreciation, we're basically catching up to that point. Now this represents the uh, seller's equity loss and buyer's equity gain. And here are. Um, buyer's equity loss right here and if you sold during that time that was your gain now we're about hi here we still have a little bit more to catch up and assuming the 3.6 percent annual appreciation continues this this trajectory um, which will because we don't have sort of like a, a bad lending as we did in you know late 2000 the rental rate is still about 30 to 40 percent higher than during that time so break e even point for uh, you know buying versus renting is still uh, pretty much higher than during this time employment rate is good the economy is still doing pretty well so there's a lot of indicator that says that we're not heading toward the bubble um, so at least for next two years we're going to see micro adjustment as you see here dipping like three percent four percent in pending sales whatnot but the home price will continually go up and uh, we don't see that yeah, bubble effect anytime soon on the side note, um, Nike announced a 2% layoff last week. I hope our friends and clients are okay out there. And one last note, I'm you know never too busy to help people who, who we care about. So if you have a friends or family members who you care for that uh, who's thinking about selling or buying in the, in the next 6 months to 12 months, please let them know about me and please let me know so I can follow up with them and take great care. And um, I'll send, I put a link below here so you can, you know, download the uh, report, share this information with your friends or family members. And if you have any questions, please let me know as well. 515-4499 and homesforsavings.com. Thanks.